Okay, so we've got our RG59 uh, coax cable here with no end on it. First thing I'm going to do is take this nice black rubber shroud. It's a strain relief, highly recommended. Not only does it make the cable look nicer, it actually has a purpose. We call these strain relievers or boots. So you slide that over first. If you make up this end first and you've got an open end, this because you're making it a patch lead, you can put that on after but i'd always put it on first because you don't normally make that off and then forget you haven't put it on and have to cut it off and restart it anyway so two tools you can use so you can see there i've got my backhoe cutters uh, these are my absolute favorite cutters in the world they make absolutely brilliant tools i got my nws cutters again really nice side cutters very nice sharp i've got my trusty stanley knife and then i've got my crimp it my rj45 crimps and my bnc crimps i'll get uh, in a minute so first thing we do is go and get the uh, ratchet crimpers for the RJ59. Right, okay, so I've zoomed this in a bit so you can see it a little bit better. So I've got my end there with the cable with the strain relief boot on there. Two ways you can do this, you can take your nice sharp cutters, lightly nibble around the outside of the jacket, not too much pressure because you'll cut the braid on the inner, and then gently prise it apart. That gives a nice, neat finish no broken copper whatsoever or you can go old school stanley knife nice sharp new blade gently around the end da, 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 da. and then just gently prise that off again both methods work really nice no broken copper braid um so it's nice and easy depends which one you use i'm old school i like the cutter technique and i'm very good at it so next you get the metal outer cover, put that over. Easiest way next is just push the braid in so it balloons up like that. And then again, using a Stanley knife or a nice sharp pair of cutters, we just nibble around, leaving about three quarters of a centimeter of that braid. There we go. And we just fold that down like so then again cutters or stanley knife about that much in from there nibble one side compress turn and pull hold it nicely and pull you'll see now you'll want about that much of the copper let me move my finger about that much of the copper there on the end, cut that off. Okay, you can see that. Get your ferrule end, insert. And then using your crimping tool, you find the correct size hole, the correct size ferrule hole, and it's just simply a case of inserting the ferrule into there, crimping down, and then you can see that's nice and crimped. Give it a little tug, make sure it's secure. That's a nice connection. Then you get your metal outer jacket. Crimp, slide that over. And if, the, if that's bent, just straighten it slightly. Slide it over there and push. There we are, push until it clicks in like that. And you can see on the end there, the metal, if you look, point it in there. It is all the way up there. Push the metal braid around. Twist it round there. Just make it nice and compact. All the way over there. Nice up to the top there. You can see there is still some shrouds left. We'll get rid of them now. Sometimes you can get rid of them first time, no problem. Again, crimp at the top. Crimp at the bottom nice and secure and crimped and then you can either get your Stanley knife and run it around there to get rid of the braid or you can use your cutters I've got my Stanley knife open so I'll just do that just be careful with your fingers there we go so that's nice and cleaned up no braid that's what you want to see then you slide the strain relief all the way up over to the top there and 
over as much as it can and there you go and there's with the strain relief boot on it not only does it make it look nicer because if you did have any copper it would hide that but it actually has a purpose of holding that nice and sturdy and providing it some strain relief when you bend it round and into matrices pt's heads cameras whatever you need okay so that is how you make up an rg59 bnc lead hopefully that's going to benefit some of you that seems to get a lot of hits on youtube so uh it's definitely in high demand keep liking keep subscribing keep sharing keep commenting keep asking questions really enjoy your feedback uh, see you next week for the next one thank you